In about three days, this live picture from Fayetteville Street in Raleigh. Oh, it's likely going to look a lot differently, showing crowds of people celebrating the new year. Good evening. I'm Chris Lovingood. And I'm Michelle McConaughey. WREL First Night will look much different than last year's event. WREL's Eric, Eric Miller is live in downtown Raleigh for us to lay out all the changes, Eric. Yeah, Michelle, forget about Santa's elves because the busy ones this holiday season, that would be those first night organizers. That's because things are so much bigger than they have been any year since 2019. And one part of that's going to be right here at the art space on Davie Street in downtown. Bright and early tomorrow, crews are going to be in here setting up the silent disco, just one part of these festivities on New Year's Eve. It might be the countdown to New Year's, but WRAL First Night Program Director Cameron Laws is still counting up the ways this New Year's celebration is better than ever. It's going great. The biggest change from the last two years, the return of inside events. We have 12 indoor venues all around downtown Raleigh that are filled with live music, interactive art, comedy, and a lot more. That's in addition to what's on Fayetteville Street. Five blocks filled with rides and food, and of course, the famous acorn drop. Fayetteville Street will also be closed for pedestrians, and the People's Procession will march down Salisbury Street from Edenton to Davie starting at 6 p.m. Organizers say this is all months in the making, not just ensuring people have a good time, but a safe time, too. We have really extensive plans with RPD and Wake EMS and a lot of other stakeholders, and we meet with them for months in advance planning this, so they're incredible to work with, and I'm really confident in everything that they have laid out for our evening. Now, it's still going to be a busy couple of days getting things ready here in downtown. You know, those rides over there on Fayetteville Street, those are going to be going in in two days on the 30th. And for folks out there who uh, want to make their own preparations, tickets, of course, on sale through WRAL First Night's website. And you can buy them at the gate, too, if you're coming down here last minute. Michelle? It's going to be a great night. Eric Miller reporting live in downtown Raleigh. Thanks, Eric.